everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action for Week 17, I want to invite you to join. So you will have access to the VIP Club section right here that has all these great tools to help you make your picks. Okay, as we're down to the last two weeks of the season, there's still plenty to play for as far as playoff seeding is concerned. So let's take a look at four of the games. Okay, so as we scroll down through here, and again, we'll take a look here at some of the games for this day. Some of the important games, uh, here's Arizona and Atlanta. Let's look at that one, Carolina, Tampa Bay. That's actually a pretty important game, but I'm passing on that one. Um, let's go down here to Chicago and Detroit. Cleveland and Washington. As you see, it's a full slate of games, and we have to scroll down here to get the ones I'm looking at. And we can see here the first game that we want to look at on the list is Miami and New England. In this AFC East battle, uh, Miami is coming in losers of their last four, and New England's coming in losers of their last two. Uh, consequently, both teams are ice cold down. Um, you can see that New England is a home fair of 1.62, 2 2.276. Uh, it's a line of 1.5 points and over under 41.5. You can see that's a very slight uh, edge for New England, 52% chance to win compared to 48% chance. If you look at the over under, you can see here that the teams have been trending in games under the line seven of the last 12 games. Um, the score predictor has New England by a very slim margin, 22 to 20, with confidence in prediction of about 79%. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see both teams on the downward trend. Miami is at plus 21. They were as high as plus 29 on December the 4th. On New England is at plus 17 at the moment. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup early in the season, Miami won, actually the first week of the season, Miami won 20-7 at home, and they were uh, home favorites in that one. If you look at the stability factor, you can see that uh, both teams have been pretty uh, stable with regard to their favorite underdog status at 8 for New England, and five for Miami. If you take a look at the movement in the line, you can see there has been some movement in the line. It started at, uh, here's the opening line at two. This is New England money line. You can see here that is now at 1.621. So they are now the fair where before they were the side underdog. And that is because of the, uh, the injury status for uh, Miami in this one. Anyway, in the end, I do like New England to win this one in a game under the line. Next one we want to look at is, uh, there's New Orleans and Philadelphia. Philadelphia can wrap up the number one seed if they win the game. Um, the next one we want to look at here, as you scroll down through the list of games. Is this one right here. Again, again we're going down through here. Here we go, Minnesota and Green Bay. NFC North battle you can see that the Vikings and the Packers come into play both burning hot uh, Minnesota has won their last two if you look at this chart four out of the last six while Green Bay is on a three game winning streak and they are also four and two over their last six um, Green Bay is favored 1.51 to 2.542 uh, with a line of 3.5 points and you see the over under is at 48.5 you look up at the percentage here for winning it's 52 percent for green bay and 48 percent for minnesota the score predictor has green bay 30 minnesota 21 with the confidence in prediction of 69.3 percent if you take a look at the over under you can see in the last five minnesota is over while green bay is under in their last two but over and four out of the last six a good indication of a higher scoring game about to be played here um, if you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Minnesota is at plus 26, while Green Bay was at 4, and they have increased significantly up to plus uh, 17. If you look at the stability factor, Minnesota has been ex exceptional in this category at 11, while Green Bay is at minus 1, so they have not been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, so take that into consideration. Okay, now if we look at this line movement here, you can see on the on the line movement, Green Bay line was at 1.73. You can see there's been pretty significant movement, and, and then it held steady now at 1.51, but it increased uh, more money coming in on Green Bay as their odds have increased. 
So in the end, I do like the Packers at home in this one, I think by a field goal in a game going over the line. We got the Rams and the Chargers. In this one here, the, in the Battle of Los Angeles, you can see the Rams are ice cold up. Winners of two out of the last three. Well, the Chargers are burning hot 3-0 uh, and oh over the last three and four and two over the last six. <clears throat> you see the odds are in favor of the Chargers 1.37 death. 3.078, which translates to a line of almost a full touchdown and extra point at 6.5, and the over-under set at 41.5. That's a pretty good percent chance of the Chargers coming out with a win in this one, 67 to 33. The score predictor is heavily leaning towards the Chargers as well, 35 to 12 score blowout with 67 or 69 percent chance in uh, confidence in the prediction. Uh, if you look at the over-under, though, interesting here that the the Rams have been involved in games over the line in three out of the last six, while the Chargers have been under the line in the last four. Okay, so let's take a look at something else here. The power ranks indicator, you can see that the Chargers are up at plus 24, while the Rams have dipped down near the bottom. They are only at, <clears throat> excuse me, they're at plus four. Uh, actually, plus two. They were at plus four on December 19th, and they have dropped since then. If we look at the line movement, has there been much movement in the way of the line? There has been some. It opened at 1.3, and that went to uh, 1.34, and now it has gone to 1.37. And this is the Chargers money line. So in the end, the way I feel this is going to happen in the Battle of Los Angeles, I like the Chargers to win and cover any game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are all the games we're going to take a look at for January the 1st, happy betting, happy new year, and we will see you next time.